Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, pastoral associate at St. Sabina Parish in Belton, Missouri, and I'm here to welcome you to another Do You Know series question. Today's Do You Know question is, do you know how synodality is rooted in Vatican II's vision of church? Synodality, the process of walking together uh, as a human family, is rooted in Vatican II's vision of church. Pope Francis, jumping off of Vatican II vision of church, insists that the Vatican II vision of church is the most effective and spirit-led way of being church. Um, three aspects surface from the Vatican II vision of church that really link very much with synodality. The first one is the church as the spirit-led pilgrim people of God. The second one focuses on the fact that we are all called to full, conscious, and active participation in the life and ministry of the church. And the third one is collegiality, in which all are invited to share in the spirit-led decisions of the church. Uh, unpacking each one of these aspects in the vision of church is important. The first one we'll focus in on, the church as the spirit-led people of God. This is the most significant contribution of the Second Vatican Council. Why? Because it insists that the church is not the pope, the bishops, the priest, or the ordained. It is not the church building or the sacred vessels. No, the church is all of us, uh, first and foremost. It's the pilgrim people of God, spirit-led pilgrim people of God. Therefore, you, me, all of us are the church. And if that's so, then the corresponding aspect surfaces, which, which cause us to take ownership of the church. Well, how do we do that? Well, this leads to, to the second aspect of Vatican II's vision of church, namely the call uh, to be full, conscious, and active participants in the life and ministry of the church. Um, we are challenged to really uh, uh, incorporate, if you want, this, this whole vision of church as full, conscious, and active members um, in, in, engaged in uh, the world and with the whole human family. Uh, so as full, conscious, and active participants, first of all, we are challenged to be fully informed about, about our faith. We are to pray, reflect, uh, share, uh, discern how the Spirit is leading the church in our day today. So we should be aware of our faith and be fully informed about our faith. This fully informed faith actually is called to action. Uh, the active part focuses on the fact that we reflect and we move to action uh, to address the issues of the world in a way that is constantly uh, moves us to action on behalf of the entire human family. And then the third part is to be conscious. This means that we are aware of the issues, especially the issues facing the church and the world, and we dialogue with them in light of gospel values. And so Vatican II's vision of church demands participation on the part of all. Um, and this leads to a third aspect, and this is participation leads to the third aspect of collegiality. Now, what is collegiality? Collegiality calls us to, from the Second Vatican Council, collegiality calls us to actively participate in the decision-making process of the Spirit-led Church. So that the decisions of the Church uh, are made by all the people of God and not just a few. Uh, this is the most challenging and the most difficult aspect of the Second, uh, Second Vatican Council's vision of Church simply because as a hierarchical church, we have not operated this way for centuries. The operation of the synodality was very common in the early church, but once the church became a hierarchical structure, uh, it no longer uh, implemented synodality, and the decision was begun to be made by just a few people at the top without any input from the whole people of God. So synodality and Pope Francis uh, invites us in and through this process that Pope Francis has called us to, to, to actually walk together and gather the wisdom of all God's people so that the decisions that are made are made with the Spirit-led people of God, uh, uh, the wisdom of the Spirit shared with the entire people of God 
so that we are kind of a people who focus on uh, the, the whole aspect of the Spirit leading us in making decisions that will impact the church and the entire human family. And therefore, synodality, walking together and gathering the wisdom of all the people. Pope Francis and Vatican II insist uh, uh, that this is the most effective and spirit-attuned way of uh, being membership uh, of membership in the church, of being church, right, in other words. So to summarize, if we want, huh? synodality, uh, this walking together and gathering the wisdom of all God's people, is rooted in Vatican II's vision of church. And Pope Francis consistently calls us to, to really be a spirit-led uh, pilgrim people of God who are called to participate in a full, conscious, and active way and manner. And thirdly, so as to lead to uh, us being integral parts uh, in the uh, spirit-led decision process, consensus decision process of the entire church. So I hope this has helped to explain just a bit of why synodality is rooted in Vatican II's vision of church. And I hope you'll return again to more Do You Know series question as we continue to explore Vatican II and our vision of church. Thank you very much.